What's up guys, Brian here, back with another video. Gamers and non-gamers alike should really enjoy this video because it's all about the amazing art of Elden Ring. I just knew I had to play this when I saw Elon Musk say, Elden Ring, experienced in its entirety, is the most beautiful art I have ever seen. My character is pretty high level, so I'm just toying around here, just for your entertainment, basically. I'm going to try not to talk too much, because it's all about the beautiful art. This is such a wild area, because these enemies look like cute little E.T. type beings, but they're hanging out by a wall filled with blood, a lake of blood, and this weird, beautiful galaxy overhead. But yeah. Don't let that cuteness fool you. As you can see, they can become pretty deadly. I'm just way stronger than them. And what you're about to see here are these giant spectral skeletons and the little guys next to them are actually necros I would imagine and they're the ones summoning these giants. So notice what I do and what happens after I take out the little guy. What a creepy and eerie feeling watching these strange, skinless, rotting zombies prey. I imagine it might be a similar feeling for an extraterrestrial species looking down on Earth and seeing humans with all our forms of prayer.
In this game, you're able to summon a wide variety of helper spirits. The one you're looking at here actually mimics your character. Most people think it's the best one in the game. All of the areas I'm showing you in this video are late game areas. The one you're looking at now is actually a late game optional zone where you can beat the whole game and never visit there. Even just walking around in this game is breathtaking.
Don't tase me, bro. All that you've seen in this video is just a tiny fraction of the world as a whole. This game is absolutely gigantic, and I didn't even show you any of the boss fights in this video. I think I heard there was 200 bosses. It's just an epic game. I hope this encourages you guys to play. Uh, beware if you're not a gamer, this game is really hard. You're gonna die over and over again, and it's, that's how this game was designed though. It was designed to be hard, and that's why it's more fun than most, and that's why it's generating more hype than most. It's not one of those games that are just gonna baby you one step at a time, and then it doesn't even feel fun at that point. It's like you're just running errands for some game designer, and a monkey with a controller could do it half the time. But this game requires thinking, it's incredibly deep, uh, beautiful, and I would say spiritual. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. This isn't normally a gaming channel, but I just had to because this game is so exceptional. Let me know if you guys like this one and would like some more gaming content. If you could, please remember to subscribe, hit that like button, and share this with your friends. Memento Mori. Peace out till next time.